Are you looking for the best telescopes under $1,000? In this video we will look at some of the best telescopes under $1,000 on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Skywatcher Pro Ed Refractor Telescope. The Skywatcher Pro Ed is a 100mm Apo refractor telescope with a 90mm focal length. It includes a dual speed 2 inch focuser with an adapter, an 8x50 viewfinder, a 2 inch dielectric diagonal, two different sized eyepieces and a carrying case. This is a small telescope that's easy to take with you wherever you go and provides you with quality images. However, if you're using a heavy eyepiece, the focuser slips at times, making it more challenging to get a clear view. The case is kind of flimsy. It has good padding on the inside to protect the telescope, but the outside material doesn't seem like it will hold up very well. At number 2, Celestron Nex Star Telescope. The Celestron Nex Star 6A telescope features a 6 inch aperture and a 59 inch focal length. It comes with Skyline technology to help you get your scope aligned correctly, so you can easily find the 40,000 plus celestial objects that are pre programmed into the scope. It's great that this scope automatically finds things for you because there are no crosshairs to help you find the center of the object you're observing. All this technology drains the telescope's battery pretty fast. You may want to consider getting a 110 volt adapter for it if you'll be using it near an outlet. This telescope has a steel tripod that breaks down for easy transport with the compact scope. The tripod only has one arm though, so if you breathe hard or have even the slightest breeze, it will wobble on you. It isn't a huge deal until you get into the smaller lenses. At number 3, Skywatcher Dobsonian Telescope. The Skywatcher S11620 traditional Dobsonian telescope features a 10 inch aperture with a 1200 mm focal length for obtaining a clear view. The telescope is held onto the tripod by a mount with Teflon bearings and a tension clutch. This mount will hold the scope steady but the telescope itself is quite heavy, and you'll find that the tripod slowly drifts downward under its weight. You'll either have to keep readjusting it or get a heavy-duty tripod. This telescope has a 2-inch single-speed focuser with a 1.25-inch adapter. It doesn't have fine-tuning capabilities, though. It also comes with two different sized eyepieces, 25mm and 10mm. At number 4, Orion Space Probe 130 ST Telescope. The Orion 09007 Space Probe 130 ST Equatorial Reflector Telescope features a 5.1 inch aperture and a 24 inch focal length. Both are pretty small, so you don't see high quality images. It comes with a finder scope and two different sized eyepieces. 25mm and 10mm. The first problem we encountered with this telescope was the written instructions. They are very confusing and difficult to follow. We recommend using YouTube videos to assemble it. They are much clearer. We also found that the mount isn't strong enough to hold this telescope steady. The grips don't stay secure, and the scope wobbles making it difficult to see clear images. At number 5, Celestron Nex Star Computerized Telescope. The Celestron Nex Star 127S LT make computerized telescope has a 5-inch, 127mm, aperture, a 1500mm focal length and a finder scope. It also comes with Skyx Planetarium software to help you locate specific items in the sky. We do find it difficult to fine-tune images with this telescope. This telescope isn't built with the best materials, so it seems to be somewhat fragile. The focuser causes the scope to shake somewhat, and at times it will move the object you're looking at completely out of view. The mount that comes with this scope is another reason the telescope is shaky. It's very lightweight and not strong enough to hold the telescope steady. The tripod that comes with this telescope is not great. It wobbles with a light breeze. So if you want to buy these products check link in the description box. 